All right, Haunted Mansion lovers, it's time to unopen some new mystery pins. Hello everybody, Mr. Spontaneously Disney here coming at you with a brand new video. I am so excited to be coming at you with a brand new pin unboxing video. Oh my goodness guys, today I have a fun one for all of you. So I have been hitting up downtown Disney, checking out what's new. So as we all know, there is some new holiday merchandise. Lots of new pins coming out this year, and I had to get my hands on some of them. And today, I have a fun one for all of you. We're unopening the new Haunted Mansion Holiday Gingerbread Collection, and this pin is just so beautiful. I just had to get my hand on, hands on these. I went ahead and grabbed two boxes. If I really, really want to get more of these, depending on how I, how I do today, I will definitely be heading back to Downtown Disney and getting more if they're still available because as we know, pins go by really, really fast. But I definitely had to get my hands on this set because we have a beautiful set of 10 from the Haunted Mansion Holiday, which is one of my favorites. I am all for the regular Haunted Mansion, but when you mix in the Nightmare Before Christmas and with the happy haunts of that ride, it is just one of my favorite Disneyland rides. So the reason why I really had to get my hands on this set is because I know a lot of these pins. I have seen so many of these gingerbread sets and every year in the ballroom, they put a different gingerbread house in there and you just get that beautiful smell of gingerbread that just makes you know it's the holiday season with a spooky touch. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these, shall we? So the first, and these are pins from 2010 to 2018. So the first one we have is going to be right over here with Jack Skellington just over the uh, the uh, clock in Nightmare Before Christmas in City Hall, basically in Halloween Town. Second one we have, this one's really cool, I really want, because I know this one, I remember they did one year, the uh, Haunted Mansion or the house right here that splits open and opens up and closes during the ride and it has the different characters just like around as gingerbread man next one we have is i believe is either uh dr Finkelstein's uh uh lab or it is jack's house right here we have another one which is going to be just another mansion i don't know the exact all of them but they're just all so cool. Next one, we have a house of cards here, which is a leaning tower, which is just all stacked cards. Next one, we have, this one is the one I really want. We have a one through 13 countdown, which is just very spooky, very Nightmare Before Christmassy feel. Love that one. Next one we have here is going to be just another uh, traditional house, but it looks like there's some spooky stuff going on there. There's like a haunted hand that has a moving motion. Uh, again, I don't know too much information about every single gingerbread house, but still really cool. Next one is another one I would really want. This one, if we take a closer look, it's hard to see, I know guys, um, but there is going to be a spider with a jack-o'-lantern right here, just creeping over this gingerbread house. And the last one, but not least, but the one I really also love, because I remember this one, this is one of the most recent ones, is we have Oogie Boogie just standing over the gingerbread house, eating the gingerbread house, perhaps. Um, for a closer look, I'll probably put a picture here. Jacob, go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, so we can get a closer look of what exactly is in the set. We can take a closer look. But yes, this set is just so creative. I didn't even know this set was coming out. I just so, had, so happened to randomly go to downtown Disney and just was like, oh, these pins look cool and picked some up. Uh, just starting out with two boxes, nothing crazy, but we have four pins to open today, so super duper excited. And I have a really great feeling that these pins are going to be very good quality. And I didn't see anywhere it says limited edition, but they are priced as if they're limited edition. I've noticed that regular boxes go for the price of $15.99, while limited edition mystery boxes go for $19.99. So yes, Disney raising their prices a bit, but still very fun to collect. So they are going to be in mystery blind bags. They are rather smaller than I expected, uh, but hopefully they will look nice in appearance. Uh, but, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get these open. Hopefully we don't have a hard time opening these. But yes, Christmas is upon us and we are in that mid stage between Halloween and Christmas. Uh, I hope we didn't forget about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is definitely coming. Uh, because poor Thanksgiving, nobody ever remembers you. <laughs> but I sure do. I love the food for Thanksgiving. 
leave a comment down below let me know what your plans are for thanksgiving all right because we are only just what less than two weeks away i think <laughs> but yes thanksgiving is coming so let's take a look at the first pin everybody this pin once again feels rather small so it's probably one of the smaller thinner pins but let's go ahead and take a look at three two one and yes actually this is the pin i was guessing that it is sorry for the bad lighting uh, but i'll go ahead and put that on the regular pin board but it looks like it is going to be i think this is jack's home or it's either dr finkelstein's home i don't know i have to do some uh research on that oh no it's brown so it's gonna blend in guys but it is gonna be rather cool as we see we have a bunch of steps and we have a bunch of jack-o-lanterns so yes as we can tell from the size and trying to focus this on the camera these pins are rather on the t smaller side which is i was hoping they'd be a bit bigger considering the price because it these are what might be limited edition pin let me take a look at the back maybe it'll also give more information on the back it is limited release it does say limited release on the back and has a traditional uh, mickey waffling and one pin post for this pin um so not the best pin in the world but hey, it's still a rather cool pin. It's a one unique pin I have never really expected. But yes, very excited for that pin. Let's hope for something cool. Let's hope for Oogie Boogie or that countdown or even something with Sandy Claus or Jack Skellington. But yes. And we have pin number two. Let's take a look at this, guys. And we have the leading house of cards this one is a bit bigger it has more reflection as i can tell um but rather cool i like the size the size is a bit bigger it has some playing cards and we can see that it has the haunted wreath a wreath with a mouth it's very hard to see again that's just that little detail that you would expect disney to just be a bit better on but uh i don't know I'm starting to feel like that this pin set looks really cool, but kind of a bit on the, not the best side. So hopefully it, not all the pins are like that, but they are rather small for Disney expectations. If we're just talking the truth here, I'm not exactly a huge pin reviewer, but just compared to other pins like the pumpkin set the pumpkin set is the pins are huge and the quality you can just tell is amazing but this one so far i've opened the first two pins and the quality is just not there also guys i know i took a week a break last week thank you for bearing with me on that it's just days are going by COVID's happening you know life happens <laughs> but thank you guys all for your support I, it means so much i don't forget, I did not forget about the thousand subscriber giveaway. That'll be coming up very soon. Just haven't decided what I'm doing exactly yet. There's a, also just work has been busy and life, life happens. I'm sure all of you understand. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's go on to pin number three. This one feels rather bigger in my hand. So hopefully this pin will look rather extravagant. So let's take a look again in three, two, one. Oh, okay. So this is the, um, gingerbread house i was mentioning as we can see has the crack down the middle and i remember seeing this in the ride oh this is rather this is a nicer pin the colors are a bit loud so it's kind of hard to see everything at once again just the reflection the lighting today is not good so i'm sorry for that everybody but it's, this is still a nice pen. Like, i do like the colors but it, it's just it's like what's going on but yes, but since I've seen this in the actual Haunted Mansion ride, this does open up and down and there is some like motions going on. So it is rather cool because I actually know what the gingerbread house looks like. Um, so there we go. Another unique pin. Look, doing good. Let's hopefully end it on a good note with no duplicates. We have the last pin here and this will be four out of four, four out of nine. Please no duplicates. We've done good all this whole video so that's pretty good oh my goodness and also these black bags ugh, not so friendly when it comes to opening them ah <laughs> always giving me trouble but anyways okay finally got that open so let's go ahead and take a look at what this last pin hopefully it's something unique um feel well it can't be the pin i just got obviously in the same box so it has to be something different and here we go 
what oh okay so this one is actually the pin i wanted the most out of this set again it's rather really small um you know i mean i was really excited about getting because i mean look at this packaging guys the packaging is just everything i think disney's been killing the game with the packaging of the mystery pin pin releases but it's just the pins are i'm sorry i mean i don't know if i'm just tired or what but i'm just i'm feeling a bit underwhelmed today with these pins but it is rather small i it's cool but i don't know i just feel like for a limited release and for it being valued at a 20 dollars a box of 10 dollars a pin i'm just not too excited, but I guess that's just my opinion and I guess that's what happens when I'm on my channel I guess I'm allowed to give my own opinion, but here we go guys. Here are the four pins we got today They do look nice together. It would be interesting to get the whole set um, I don't think I'll be going after considering <laughs> my underwhelming reaction compared to other pin sets that I've been opening on my channel but I mean hey new duplicates you can always get excited about no duplicates, but I love it. I mean, still, it's 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 from a ride that I love. It's one of my favorites, especially the holiday season. But yes, guys, that is all the pins I'll be opening for today. I bought a lot more pins from Downtown Disney this past uh, couple, this past week, so I'll be definitely making more pin videos. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to keep up with the content. It's just hard when Disneyland's not open. <laughs> And Downtown Disney's the only thing that's open. But hey, we're getting uh, Buena Vista Street back. So that's something. So that'll be something to vlog. I need to make new Downtown Disney content as well. New vlogs. But so awesome, guys. I hope all of you have been doing well. I know it's just it's just a weird time. Um, also, I'm on Instagram. I did get lots of pictures for Instagram. That's, aw that's awesome. So be sure to check me out as well on Mr. Spontaneously Disney. I am posting more often on my Funko account. So for those of you that love Funko, check me out as Mr. Spontaneously Funko. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it with a big thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite pin of the day. What was your opinion of this interesting pin set? Have you ever written Haunted Mansion Holiday? Do you guys see the gingerbread houses in Florida? I no, you don't have, I know your Haunted Mansion doesn't change, but let me know down in the comments, whatever you want, guys. There's definitely lots to talk about today. Um, share this video with a friend if you enjoyed, and please subscribe to my channel for more content. I hope all of you have been having a very magical day, week, month, and as always, remember to stay spontaneous. Bye, everybody.